Hello gurus, welcome to another episode. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're going to jump into charts for Bitcoin, the tech stocks, Nasdaq, Ethereum, and I'm going to show you where I open trades and what I'm doing with my money. You have to do your own due diligence, not financial inf information. You consult your own brokers. I'm showing you what I do with my money. Let's jump into the technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going in. The market is green. Tesla yesterday, 7%. We made so much on the tech stocks yesterday, which is beautiful. Let's go into Bitcoin first. No major movement. My theory is that we're going to pull back down here to the C wave on the four hourly. We are overbought correcting down, but it could bull flag here if more volume comes in. Whoops, or if there's some bigger news that comes in, could get a bull flag. Four hourly overbought, hourly oversold, bull flag, but volume's driving up, drying up again. I think we're going to come down to be honest. I think we could have a pump, but then it's just going to fake everyone out and then pull back. And we follow this ABC correction that I've been talking about for the last month. That's my trade target on Bitcoin. I'll keep the same trade opening at 29,364, stop loss 30,087, take profit 20,000, risk to reward 12 times, risking 723 to make $9,000, no leverage, 10x leverage 91,000. That's a trade. Let's go into Ethereum. Four hourly Ethereum. That short would have been stop loss. Four hourly overbought and hourly overbought. No, hourly oversold, also slightly bull flagging. Ethereum could have a continuation pump, but if Bitcoin pulls back, hmm. I'd rather go long on Ethereum from the, when you zoom out, you can see in this channel that we're in. I'd rather take this long on Ethereum. Opening at 1462, stop loss 1413, take profit 22, risk towards 16 times. That's the trade I'll take on Ethereum. Let's go into the NASDAQ, which we made a lot of money on lately, which is beautiful. Congratulations, everyone that bought the NASDAQ. It's following our Elliott wave counts perfectly. One, two, three, four. Corrective wave is finished and we got a big bounce. Look at that on the NASDAQ. It was around a 6% move on the NASDAQ that bounced. And then fourth to fifth final wave before big ABC correction. I think it would come down to here. Something like this ABC correction. So final wave. So 14, 470 on the NASDAQ is when I exit everything. If you want to trade like you saw me do under this video, I'm going to show you my account under the video. Go down below, jamescryptoguru.com. Take the courses, learn how to do all this. Two trading on Bybit using this link, $30,000 bonus. Three, join us. There's 9,000 investors, traders in this telegram. It's for free, that telegram, which is beautiful. And in my Bybit account, I've got 310,000. It's up around minus 1,400 today. $20,000 worth of Bitcoin pulling back a little bit. Dogecoin, $33,000 up 4%. MCRT, 22,000. Uniswap, 20,000, 2% up. Bitcoin, 5% up. Frax, 9,700, 2% up. Frax is showing strength again. I'm going to buy another 2,000. I'm just going to ladder in at the current buy orders, but I've got orders laddered down. So you can see I've got orders laddered down. Why you should also use Bybit is you can use your debit card directly connected to your crypto and you can spend from your crypto, which is beautiful. You need to check it out. You can see here in my debit card, I have 7,400. I can just move money into the, into the other account, like can switch them and I can put money inside this account and spend it directly on my credit card from my crypto, which is amazing. Thank you for watching everyone. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all again tomorrow.